uh, this talk is going to be shorter and less technical than the rest of the talks that we've had so far, which I think is good because it's the end of the day and we are all tired. So hopefully this should be like easier, easier, easier to, to follow and then we can all have drinks and discuss this together. Okay, and oh yes, well, also, I should say that uh, one of the reasons why this talk is shorter and less technical than the previous talks is also because everything that I'm uh, going to talk about is future work. So actually, there isn't that <laughs> much to discuss because none of it has been designed yet. Um, but hopefully, like, you can tell us uh, your, your, what you think about it before, before we even build it. So, I'm sure by now you know everything about interplanetary consensus because we've had many talks about it. Um, so, it's like uh, horizontal scaling, it has the potential to scale to millions of transactions per second using subnets. And um, what I'm going to talk about right now is, um, well, what about its use case? Um, what's the point of having millions of transactions per second if no one wants to transact, right? Um, so, let me start by giving some background and some motivation um, behind uh, this project. So, when COVID hit back in 2020, most of the sex work uh, industry moved to online platforms. For obvious reasons, uh, because of COVID, um, and um, so not only <laughs> because of COVID, but also um, the advantage of online sex work compared to uh, like in-person sex work is like its uh, physical safety is improved and also it has proven to be like more lucrative for sex workers. Uh, there is one platform that um, exploded in popularity during 2020 and following COVID and it's OnlyFans. Uh, there is more than one million content creators on OnlyFans. There are hundreds of millions of uh, users, and the platform generates billions of revenue. So, sorry. <laughs> okay, now, um, although like most of the content creators on OnlyFans are from the um, adult industry, in 2021, OnlyFans announced that they will um, ban sexually explicit content from its platform. So as you can imagine, like it created a huge backlash because um, it's over a million people um, livelihood that was at risk. So following like this whole backlash, they reverted their decision to, to, ban, to ban them. However, sadly, like this type of behavior is nothing new for sex workers. Um, they have been under constant threats of censorship from centralized platforms. For example, PayPal, Venmo, Visa, Buy Me A Coffee, all of these platforms, they ban sex work. As I said, only fans only like Sweden to do the same thing. So really, like we have um, like over a million people that are li living in precarity due to this centralized institution and that are at risk of having their whole life would like wipe out. So um, together with um, interplanetary consensus, we think that we actually have um, the opportunity to do something for those people that have been constantly let down by this centralized institution. So our, propo our proposal is to build a decentralized alternative to OnlyFans. And basically, we want to help that population that we think is really in need of this type of, of platform. And we think that this is pot potentially one of the most like, useful use cases um, in this industry. And actually, we are not the only one to think so. Um, recently, there has been a few, a few articles that have been arguing for exactly what I've been uh, arguing, like the need to really have this decentralized alternative to OnlyFans. So, um, yeah, uh, our proposal is, you know, to, to have this um, decentralized OnlyFans where the uh, content created by the content creator will be stored in a decentralized storage provider. Think about IPFS, Filecoin, so we also have the, want to have the sus subscription uh, that, I, that are paid directly on the blockchain and using cryptocurrency. So we don't have this issue of Visa and PayPal who, you know, decide to just like censor you and buy, ban you and, and exclude you from like this system. 
Um, so yes, now um, let me give you like a very high level uh, preliminary design. As I said, like we have not yet started working on this. This is uh, our plan for next year. So this is like a very like general idea. But again, um, we would love to have some of your feedback on this. So remember, we have the main, uh, the main chain, the root chain, that is Filecoin, and then with interplanetary consensus, we have all these subnets. So the idea would be to have like specific smart contract on the subnet. We want this to have on the subnet, not on the main chain, because we want to have a lot of interaction, a lot of, of, of transaction. So we really need like the scalability. So basically, uh, each content creators will have like their like smart contracts. They will um, use Filecoin or maybe IPFS to store their contents. Then users could uh, simply like subscribe and unsubscribe using like the smart contracts on the on the subnet. Um, this is a um, like an open question, but maybe we could have some uh, type of uh, content discovery also happening on on the subnet. So um, again, the idea is like through the smart contract, basically, basically the content creator, when they want to publish new content, they can simply uh, give some type of like token to the, to the users that can then use this token in order to retrieve the data on Filecoin or IPFS or wherever the uh, content is stored. There are uh, many open questions, again, that I'd like to invite you to think about and that we will for sure uh, think about. So the first one is privacy preserving. Again, if we think about like adult industry being like the main um, like um, use case for this, uh, as they are the one who has the most need for this, then I think privacy is really important. Um, so we could think of doing some like Zcash type of transaction um, on the blockchain in order to maintain the, the, the privacy of the users. Also, like um, age verification is something important. So maybe this is something that we can do, you know, in a privacy way, privacy preserving way, decentralized way. Um, for example, like there is some type of like decentralized identity that exists, or like anonymous cred credentials. So that's also one one avenue that we do like to explore. Um, OnlyFans al also allows a chat integration. Uh, there is actually this uh, company, OpenChat, that ha does uh, a, um, a chat on uh, the uh, ICP, so uh, not IPC, like the Definity blockchain. So also maybe this is something that we want to integrate with our, uh, with our system. And then I think that lastly, one of the most important thing is a UI. We want the, the whole experience to be as smoothless and as easy as possible uh, for everyone.